Hi, welcome to Katibu 5 video tutorial. It's a remake of a very old one and it's one of the basic exercises, so I want to bring it to YouTube as well. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at it. So here it is, and you could make a screenshot of that drawing and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So, let's have fun with Katibui 5. Okay, let's start with the sketch on the YZ plane. Hide these. Okay, let's go for a circle. And this should be a diameter of 230. And that point here should be positioned coincident here and of course over there as well. Now I need some construction lines. Like that maybe. Make them symmetric to the z-axis and there should be an angle here and this should be 50 degrees. Now I need two more lines. But not for construction. Now at a dimension this should be 19. And trim. Finish that sketch. And now let's make a extrude. Mirror extend 20, that's okay. Go for the thick option and make it 50 millimeter to that side, that's okay, and confirm. Next sketch, again on the Y set plane. Hide these. Another circle. Fourteen diameter, and this point should also be here on this axis. Finish that sketch. Make an extrude. Make it mirror extend, and go for thirty millimeter. Okay. Another sketch on the YZ plane. Hide these. And I need a line. That line should be coincident with that axis here. The end point should be on this one here. And it might have a length of 100 and five. Finish this sketch. Make an extrude. Ignore the warning. Go for mirror extend. Make it 20 millimeter. And go for a thick pad. Make it neutral fiber. And go for five millimeter. Now let's go for 10 millimeter. That's more like it. And confirm. Now let's do the fillets. First 10 millimeter on this edge here. This one. Yeah, it's 
it's hard to select. <laughs> really? Now I've got it. This one here. That one here. This one. That one. Let's take a look. I think I've got a... F no. That's wrong. I didn't want to select the face, so remove it. I need this edge here. Okay. And this one here looks, now I've got it, and confirm, yeah. Now another fillet with 25 millimeter on this edge and that edge, and confirm. Now I want to reuse the first sketch, that's this one. Let's make another extrude with that first sketch. Make it mirrored extend. 20 millimeter should do. And confirm. No, not 20, but 10 millimeter, like that. Okay, so how to get rid of those here? I just want to move that pad before edge fillet 1. So after pad 3, so let's go to pad 4. Right click, go for reorder. After, let's go for after. I want to have it after pad 3. Confirm. Yes. And now make this the current feature, like that, and those are gone. Great! So another sketch on the YZ plane. Let's hide these yellow projected elements. I need a circle, maybe cut to the sketch plane. This should be for construction only. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Doesn't matter right now. And I need it to be something like this here. And maybe make this point align with that axis here. And those two could be symmetric to the y-axis. Great. That angle should be 25. And that's sort of crazy. It moved it over here. So I could draw them like this. Like that. Now I need two more circles right here on the intersection point. So in order to do that, I want to trim these. Now go for the circle. One here, not for construction, like this here. And one over there. Let's give it a diameter of 5. The other one as well. Okay. Then I need two circles. One which should be tangent here. And another one which should be tangent up there. Now, 
Let's go for a trim. Like this. This should be removed. That should be removed. This one and that one. And now let's add a dimension to that circle. And that circle should be 25 in diameter. But it's okay. Let's delete one of those dimensions. And maybe there is no tangency here, so maybe add just in case tangency. Yes, also here. Okay. And symmetric, what's missing? Let's move it a little bit. Yeah, of course. So, where is my origin? It's over there. So put this point here onto the set axis coincident. Yeah, that's fully defined. Leave that sketch. Now let's go for a pocket with that sketch here. Make it measured extent, make it 30 millimeters and confirm. Then I want to make a circular pattern with the pocket. I want to go for a complete crown, six instances, yes, and the axis would be of course that one here. Keep specifications and confirm. Great. Now I want to copy that sketch here, so go for copy and paste it into that part body, which means it stays on the same plane. Paste. Now let's edit this one. Okay. First I want to change the diameter. The diameter should be 140. Now that angle here, let's try to move it, yes, this should be 30. And those two, or at least one, this one here, should be not 5, but 20. Great, and then I need another circle. Snap onto the y-axis, maybe put it like this. Add a diameter of 20. And then make this one and that one here tangent. Okay. Now I need fillets here. So can I do a fillet here or should I use circles? Maybe I go for circles. So go for a circle and here and another circle over there. These should have a diameter of 10. That one as well. Now Let's move them a little bit closer to there. We should go like that. Then go for the constraints and make it tangent here and tangent to that arc here. Same over here from this one to that one, tangency, and from this one to that arc here, tangency. Now we should be able to trim. This should be removed, that should be removed, this here, 
that one here, this, that, this, that, and make sure C that didn't quite work. So if I that's a sort of a resolution problem. It's there, even it's not there. Yeah. See it gets trimmed the right way. Now I want to add a dimension from the center of this circle here to this here and that should be 50. Great. Leave that sketch. Now let's make another pocket. Make it mirror extend, make it at least 20 millimeters and confirm. Nice. Now another circular pattern with that pocket here. So go for, let's go for a complete ground at first. The reference direction would be this axis here. Then I want to remove this one here and that one here. And now I want to switch to instance is an unequal angular spacing and maybe switch to different style here, maybe to wireframe, so it's easy to see the dimensions. So this should be 45. Then this has to be 72. And this has to be 45 as well. And confirm. And switch back to shaded with edges. Yeah, this looks good. And I see I forgot one fillet here. So that's the first fillet here. Make it a work object, just in case. Let's press it to see like that and confirm. Yeah, so in order to do that, I have to move the pad back. Oh, that's kind of tricky. So how to put this through? That would be this pad. Maybe undo that. And deactivate that pad here. Like this. Uh, yeah. And that should give me the possibility to make that fillet here. Add this one here. Farm. Now bring back the pad. Yes, and this should have worked. Yes, it did. Now go back to the circular pattern and make it the work. An object. Nice. What's missing is just a hole. So select this edge, select the hole tool, select the face. It should go up to last. Diameter should be 12. And type yes and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.